Well, I'm about to head out and have myself a little bit of fun. What I've got here is an Aquatec sound blimp, which a friend of mine kindly modified for me. It's now a four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, remote-controlled buggy. Inside this buggy, I'm putting in Nikon D800E camera, highest resolution DSLR on the market. On that, I've got an 18 to 35 mil zoom lens. I'm gonna set this up at 18 mil, very wide angle. And what I'm planning on doing is driving this vehicle in and getting really close to a large predator here in Africa. Before I go out, before the camera actually goes into the blimp, we're gonna set it up manually, manual focus at one meter. We're going for a high ISO, a small aperture, gives us a great depth of field. That way all I have to worry about is driving the vehicle and trying to get close to the animal and um, see if we can get that special shot that you can't get any other way. And hopefully at the end of it all, we'll get the camera back and have something, something to look at. Well, I hope we got the shot because we uh -oh. <laughs> That was amazing. That was awesome. I think the buggy's dead, but let's see what we got out of this. <laughs> no way. Oh, teeth inside its mouth. Oh, that's wow. just, yeah. Oh, wicked. <laughs> that wicked. Is wicked. Oh. <laughs> Go back to that one. Wicked. Look at. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Inside the mouth and back and off, reverse. No, returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Davis gets a block. Davis has another block. Chris Davis. No flags. Touchdown, Auburn. An answered prayer.
Eugene proves that sharks are smart after all. Eugene Clark said... Searching round the farm, they eventually found the ducklings. But unfortunately, the cat, Della, had got there first. I ended up catching the cat with a duck in her mouth at this stage. And um, it really looked, Ronan was like, she's going to kill the duck. I was thinking, oh, no. Yeah. We're only after getting them back, and now she's going to eat them right in front of us. Then Emma noticed something unusual. I was like, Ronan, she's not actually forcefully holding this duck. That's when the amazing thing happened. We put the, the cat down, uh, put the ducklings down, and then all of a sudden the three little ducklings waddled straight underneath the cat. The cat lay down on her side, put her paw over one of the ducklings and was kind of nursing the duckling in towards us. So we were, I mean, just absolutely mm. blown away with this. Because normally cats would eat little small birds, but it was, it, was, it, was just, it was awesome. It was just incredible to see it. She was um, very content at this stage. She was purring and she was really loving towards the ducklings. 
When I was petting her down, um, I noticed that she actually had given birth to three kittens only within an hour or so beforehand. It was a very lucky coincidence for the ducklings that the cat found them just after giving birth herself. For a narrow window of a couple of hours, mothering hormones will have been coursing through her body, causing her to love and nurture any small, warm, furry creature she found next to her. I have no doubt whatsoever that the cat was thinking dinner if she had seen them either maybe a couple of hours before or a couple of hours after. I have no doubt that she would have put the napkin around her neck, knife and fork, salt and pepper, the whole lot.